What's up, YouTube? It's your guy, Nerdy G, back here with another episode of Hey, a.k.a. Here's an Ideal. Listen, today we're talking the Judgment Day. Like, subscribe, share, do all that good old stuff. But today, guys, we are talking Judgment Day. Listen, guys, I don't know if you guys have been paying attention, just a little bit of attention, right? You don't have to pay a lot of attention. You just got to pay a little bit of attention. And that little bit of attention goes a long way. If you don't believe me, watch Raw and SmackDown every week. Okay, not a plug. They're not paying me. Nobody, nobody from WWE has contacted me. Okay, but listen. They're trying to add a little turmoil in Judgment Day. I'm all for it, right? Don't break up the Judgment Day. This is my ideal. Do not break up the Judgment Day because that faction itself is a faction that you need. It's going to be a big staple in the Faction Wars. If you don't know what Faction Wars is, check out the card up here. This is my video on the Faction Wars, okay? You know, back to this. Listen, they have a great dynamic. Even their entrance is Dope. Even the way when they pose on the ring with Damien on top, with Damien and Finn at the top, Dom at the bottom, and then Nerea right there with her gold just to let you know she's the centerpiece of this all. Correct, she is, right? Technically, she's the head. Damien is the enforcer. Finn is the voice. And Dum Dum, well, he's Dum Dum. He's just. He's dumb dumb. <laughs> That's all I can say. But I think we can take dumb dumb and we can he should start like pulling from them because the people the with the company you keep, you know, some of their things they rub off on you, right? And I think some of these things should start rubbing off on dumb. And I mean, yeah, we know he can talk a good game outside of the ring and uh he does his little antics, right? But I'd rather see those things transpire in the ring where he can actually win a match without Having the judgment day to help him where he's getting that little gritness. He's getting that toughness and he can kind of like down the line. If you want to roll, roll, roll that uh, story storyline out where he actually becomes the head of the judgment day just because he's taking the best of Rhea. He's taking the best of Damien. He's taking the best of Finn. And now he's ruling with a iron fist. Can it be believable? It would, but that would take some time, right? But this, this, the way that this build is, you can do that, right? Um, you can do that with the Judgment Day. It's not that, it's not that hard, right? You can truly do it. Like the toughness, everything rounds out when you look at the Judgment Day. Because look at Damien, he's on his way to money in the bank. Uh, do I think he's gonna win it? And check out, I got another video coming out about that, right? Uh, so stay tuned for that. Finn is getting ready to go up against Seth. Do we believe that Seth is going to win? I do. Sorry, Finn. Um, you, you, you're kind of broken right now. I don't know where, where this came out of nowhere, and I'm, I get it. You, you gave the backstory. I watched. I listened. I, was, I, didn't, I didn't buy it. I didn't buy it. It's been too long. Uh, not saying that it's been too long, but I just didn't buy it. Not right now. I don't, I don't like that whimper. Oh, I'm no. Finn Balor, you go get it. That's what you do. Sir, you go stump the stump stump the guts out of uh Seth, and uh we'll we'll see what happens, right? But think about it. Let's start with a little with the Judgment Day. Let's start with a little backstage bullying, okay? Let's start with a little backstage arrogance and bullying to everybody in the Rawls locker room, right? Because what that'll do that will help build up that um build up that hatred for. That'll build up. That'll help build up that hatred for the Judgment Day, and then when the faction wars come, because I'm gonna keep on referring to this, because I think the faction wars can really truly be a thing. Think about it, right? You got the Alpha Academy there. You got Imperium there. You got Indus there. You got Los Lothras there, right? Uh, Mason Mansour is still there. Of course, you guys know that um, Maxine has joined Alpha Academy. You got the Viking Raiders there, right? There's Kevin Owens and Sammy. Even though we don't, even though I don't want them together. But you can have, oh, and don't forget the way. The way is on Raw. I don't know if people know that, but Johnny Wrestling, Dexter Loomis, Candice LeRae, Indy Hartwell, they're all on Raw. So that's another faction that's there, and I'm probably forgetting one more. But these are the ones I can just think of off the top of my head, right? They are there. So you can have them kind of just like, yo, we are it. Judgment Day, we run raw. I love when they was coming out saying that we run raw. Yeah, go and poke the bear and you can keep all of the little stories to kind of buy you the time for your main, for your main, and when I say your main storyline, because right now the main storyline on raw is 
Cody's redemption story and how he's going to get back to that. So neither here nor there. However that works out, you guys will see that. But to keep the Judgment Day, even though Rhea has the championship, she'll still be relevant. I think they still will be relevant uh, at any any freaking way. But just to kind of help build and get some of those pop get get that popularity up of some of those other superstars, I believe that Judgment Day can be that catalyst. And if they go and they pick folk, pick fights with folk, we can see them pick fights with some of the lesser known superstars. And this is where Dum Dum can actually catch his wins and kind of like start slowly turning into something that we didn't think that he can be because, you know, hey, I've been in jail. I did hard time. You really we don't have to get into that, but why not go for it? Right. And then. We can put some gold around their waist. We don't have to go have them to go for the top, top, top right now. But Gunther is on an amazing run, right? And just think about the matches that Imperium and Judgment Day can put on, right? Because you can go three on three, right? You can do a three on three match with them. You can do a two on two match. You can do a one on one match. There's so many matches that you can mix up with the Judgment Day and Imperium, and you're going to get great matches, hands down. Right. Stop heading to dumb dumb all of these assisted wins. Let him win some of this stuff on his own. Get him back in the gym. If he needs to work a little bit harder and get a little bit more snappy with his wrestling moves, I'll be seeing him. But I'm not going to point him out because this is my entertainment and I love watching it. So I'm not going to be critical of them on their wrestling uh, <laughs> moves. OK, I just love it. I love to see him out there. It's a good time. All I'm saying is don't break up the judgment day. It's just an ideal do create a little tension, give them a little turmoil, but make it make them stronger and then actually put gold around somebody else's uh, waist besides Rhea and then let it keep continuing to go on into the faction wars. So then when the faction wars get here, the faction wars are built up and everybody hates the Judgment Day and everybody's going to have to make some uh, crazy alliances. It's crazy. I'll do another video on that later, later, later in the day. But this has been another edition of Hey, a.k.a. Here's an Ideal. I'm your guy, Nerdy G. Until the next video. I'm out.